Hey, what's happening guys? Welcome to your 12th Vue.js tutorial and in this video I want to show you how we can loop through arrays and objects with the directive v4. Okay then, so, so far in this view instance we've been making data which is pretty simple like this. Um, a property which is just a single value, a string. Now that's cool, but I want to move on to some more complex types of data, in particular arrays. So I've got two properties set up here, characters and ninjas. They are both arrays. The first one is an array of strings. The second one is an array of objects. So I'm going to show you how we can output this data to the browser and we can cycle through this data in our template using the directive v4. So let's save this and move over to the index.html. So say we want to output every single element in that characters array, right? then yeah, we could use something like this. We could say characters, then zero. Then we could do characters and then one, and you know, go through each one until we've listed every single element in this array, which is fine. But A, what if we don't know how many items are in the array, then we won't know where to go up to here. And B, if there's a lot of items in the array, then this is just a waste of space, right? Because we're just repeating ourselves over and over. So a better way to do this would be to use a directive called v4, which is going to loop through an array for us. So how do we do this? Well, to demonstrate, I'm just going to create a ul and then inside an li. Now, the way I want to do this is to output a single character from this array, this top one, in each li, right? So there'll be a character name in each li going down. Now, instead of writing four LIs, all I need to do is use a directive called v-4, right? And set that equal to what I want to loop through. Now, I want to loop through the characters, right? So what I need to say is character in characters. So this right here, this is the name of the data property here. And in each cycle round, when we're looping through, we're going to refer to a single character. Right, so we can make this up. This could be X, this could be Y, but basically, this is a single item in this array. And each time we loop through using this V4, that single item is going to be referenced using this character variable. Okay, so we're just saying character in characters. So now we can output this thing right here, this single character. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to paste it in. So now if I save this and check it out in a browser, we're going to see all of these characters listed right here. And if we inspect, you're going to see each one of these is going to be in an ally tag. So what this has done has looped through our array right here, and it's created an ally tag for every single element in that array. And that's because we're using this v4 directive to cycle through that array. And then we're outputting the item in that array each time we cycle through okay so let's do another simple example this time I want to cycle through these things right here so I'm gonna do another UL and then inside this another LI and like before we're gonna say V hyphen 4 to cycle through and this time I'm gonna say ninja in ninjas because ninjas is the name of this thing right here and then ninja is gonna to refer to the single item each time around as we go through the array. So this time we can't just output ninja because this is an object, right? Each item in this array right here is an object. And what's gonna happen if we output this to a browser? Well, let's have a look. We get this, which is not very nice. So what I wanna do is get each property from this object right here and output each property. Now we know we've got a name property and we know we've got an age property. So all I need to do really is say ninja dot name and then I'm going to do a little dash and then I'll do ninja dot h. All right. So we're using this template syntax right here to output two separate variables, the name property on the ninja and the age property on the ninja, because that's how we're storing it, name and age. So if I save this now, let's check it out again this time. We get those variables output onto the screen a lot nicer. So another thing I'd like to show you is how we can output the index of this item. 
And by index, I mean the position in the array. So this has an index of zero, this an index of one, this an index of two, right? And then zero, one, two, three. So how can we output that index to the browser? Well, all we need to do right here is do our parenthesis around Ninja, right? And then next to Ninja, we can pass through the index. So now that's gonna to refer to whatever position this Ninja is in the array. So I can output that as well by saying index. And then I'm gonna do a dot here and save that. That dot is just so it comes after the number. You don't need that. Um, if we view this in a browser, now we can see zero, one, two. And we can do the same for the top one right here. We could enclose this in parenthesis and add the index here and also here. And if we view this in a browser, this is gonna do the same thing, okay? So that's how we output the index. Now, I wanna show you one more thing. First, in fact, two more things. First of all, what if we don't wanna output a lie tags? Well, we can do this in whatever we want. If we want, we could do a div tag. And then we could say v4 is equal. And again, I'm gonna do the same thing as this. So I'm just gonna copy and paste. And then, inside this div say we want for example a h3 and that is going to output the index first of all and dot and then what we'll do is output the name as well so we'll say ninja dot name then underneath the h3 we might want to output the age so we'll do a p tag and we'll output ninja dot age okay so this time around, we're not using li tags, we're using a div tag. And it's gonna cycle through the div tags and create a new div with this kind of template inside it for each ninja. So if we save this now and check it out in a browser, now we get something like this, okay? And if we inspect this over here, you can see there's a separate div for each different ninja, which is okay. But this div right here, in my opinion, is just kind of extra markup that we don't really need. Yeah, we're using it to loop through these items, but it doesn't need to be in the HTML. So what we can do is instead of using div, if we don't want this to be in the HTML and we just want it to be a series of H3s and Ps, then all we need to do is change this to template. And Vue.js is gonna look at this and it's gonna say, hey, this is a template tag and it doesn't want me to output this tag to the browser, all it wants me to do is take the template inside this and output that to the browser. So we're still gonna cycle through because we've got V4, but all we're gonna do is output what's inside to the browser. So if we save this now, we still get the same kind of output, but this time those div tags are not around. So this is kind of cleaner markup, okay? So now I wanna show you one more thing. We've looped through both of these arrays, right? But I wanna show you how we can also loop through objects because in this array, we have three objects, right? And each object has got two values, two different key and value pairs. So what if we want for each object to loop through every single key value pair? So instead of saying, for example, where we said ninja.name and ninja.age, what if we don't necessarily know the name of these properties and we just want to output each one to the browser without doing .name or .age? Well, we can do that as well. So what I'm gonna do is another template tag, first of all. And then inside this, I'm gonna do another v4. And this is gonna say v4 equals ninja in ninjas. So first of all, we're cycling through the array again, just like we did over here, but without the index, right? So we're cycling through this array and each one of these is gonna to refer to that single ninja. So each time around in here now, we have access to that single ninja object. So what we wanna do now is cycle through that single object, right? And we can use another v4 to do that. So I'm gonna create a div right here and I'm gonna say v-4 is equal to, and then this is gonna be val and key, and I'm gonna explain this in a minute in Ninja, okay? So right now what we're doing is taking that single Ninja object and we're cycling through it. So much like we cycled through the array, this time, because we have access to that single object in the array, we're now cycling through that single object. And what we're doing 
is we're getting the value and the key of each of those objects or properties rather in the object. So we're getting the value and the key each time around and we're cycling through each one of those. So now what we can do is output those separately without knowing the name of those keys, right? So I could say P and output the key and then hyphen and I'm also gonna output the value, okay? So if I save that now, check this out in the browser, now we get the key and the value, the key and the value, okay? So this right here, all of this is one object and we've cycled through the keys and the values and we've output them in each individual object, each individual ninja, okay? And we've done that for all ninjas because we're cycling through each ninja in the array as well. Okay, so that is how we cycle through data in Vue.js using V4.